All right, so we're going to do a quick troubleshooting video to run through troubleshooting the ECU on this 2021 bike. Not really, it's a problem I created by putting the 2022 ECU on here. But basically the first start, it from a cold start only, it doesn't like to start. Push the starter two seconds later, comes right to life. So I've been looking at a few things, but main thing I want to go through here is connecting up diagnostics and just looking at things. So obviously get your cable connected, take your seat off. You don't need to leave your seat off. I'm just doing this because it makes it easy to hook and unhook my cable and I'm not actually gonna ride it just yet. Then you turn on your ignition. Just gotta be on. Make sure your kill switch is not activated. It's in the run position. Then your HUD ECU hacker. So you go over to connect, you're going to notice I have a K-Line adapter, it's COM port 3 and this is just what comes up, it's a USB serial CH340 adapter. Click connect, and I'll go over to my dashboard up top, and I can see, so my coolant's at 5.7 degrees Celsius, air temp, here's my air fuel, 4.63. My IAC is set at 120 right now. So what I'm gonna do before I start it though, because we're a cold start. So my problem is only during the cold starts. So we're gonna set up a new log file, click start recording. So now I'm recording everything in here. So now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna try to start the bike and we're gonna see what happens. I go back to the computer I have a new log file called today's date cranking so I can play this log file and look at things step by step as I'm going through the dashboard so here's all my ECU settings from my playback that I just recorded from this startup so it's hard to look at all those parameters while the engines running because everything's changing by the second so this way I can start and stop things and if you notice, you can actually watch the starter happen by the voltage drop. So I'm at 12.8 volts, hit the starter, it drops down to 9 volts. Most likely it's dropping that low because it's, it's cold. <laughs> so anyway, my AFR is at 463, IAC is at 120, I hit the starter. So my RPMs start going up, 368, my fuel pump's on. So my IAC just jumped to 200. So it's as open as it'll go right now, but it's still not cranking. It's over at 392. So now it's leaning out my air fuel. So it seems my air fuel is, it's too rich for these cold, cold starts because it has my IAC opened as much as it can open. My air fuel, it's actually leaning out. So it's pushing it up higher. It's saying, oh, you're not cranking, you're not cranking. Let me push it up higher, higher, higher. Here's where I stopped. So I stopped cranking. My voltage went back up to 12.5. Here is the next crank. So the next crank, I'm at 5.34 for the AFR. It's quite a bit higher. Well, not quite a bit, but but it is definitely higher. My IAC went back to 120, which is the default. So now, my air fuel leaned out even more. 532. So now that it's running, opens up my IAC, leans out the engine even more. So now it's gonna work up to 10.9 for the AFR and slowly close down my IAC for idle. 
but seems to me that I am too rich at startup. It can't give enough air to actually start it at that until it leans it out after the first try cranking. So I'm going to try doing a little few different things, but one thing I don't like is there's a setting for the AFR crank, the altitude compensation. So you can see here at uh, 95 to 105, there's no compensation, 85, 75, minus 0.5. So the way I take this is that's a negative 0.5 AFR, but at 70 to 85, this is a higher elevation. So I'm at my about 82. Yeah, 80. I'm at 80.8 for my barometric pressure. So I'm right between these. So I'm almost thinking that's dropping my AFR even more. Like this table is set up, I think maybe backwards. It might not be. It might just be the way the logic in the ECU works. This is proper, but it feels a little backwards to me to go negative on the AFR to actually drop it down and richen things up as your elevation is increasing. I feel like you should be leaning out a little bit. But anyway, I'm going to play with some settings and run through the same process again. I uh, got to wait for the bike to get cold because the, the issue only happens when it's cold. As you saw, once I did the second start, it comes right alive. But Anyway, that's troubleshooting quick and dirty with HUD ECU hacker and the cable, just looking at the ECU parameters. Like, you don't need to go into the tuning at all. You can gather a lot of what's happening just from the dashboard to see what your bike is doing. So, anyway, hope everyone's had a merry, ah, <laughs> had, had, had a merry Christmas and uh, it's going into a happy new year. Take care, all. And real quick. I uh, wasn't going to do this, but I changed those altitude, the AFR altitude compensation settings, flashed it over, and now we're going to restart the bike. But the problem is, since I just started it five, ten minutes ago, it's probably going to start right up. Like, I'm connected to things. If I look at my dashboard, my air fuel should be higher, but it naturally is after a startup, because when it's really cold, it makes it really rich in there. So like right now, should come right alive. I don't expect any issues. There we go, easy peasy. Gotta let it cool and then we're gonna test some more and see if my changes did anything. <laughs> 